That should be good. Hey everyone, Sean Savin Moo, and as you could see, this is a lot of fun. This is an incredible drill that's really going to help you with your consistency. And for most of you, it'll be way more powerful. As you could see, we're not going to tell you yet who won this long drive contest, but all of us just hit a driver on one leg over 300 yards, and it was easy for us to do. We want this ease for you as well, and you're going to see how this one leg drill is really going to help you perform. Okay. So starting with a little bit of technique to get you going, you take your normal stance and you're going to drop that trail foot back. And you notice when you drop your trail foot back, the center of gravity moves to the inside of that lead foot and away from the ball. So it's really important that you understand the distance between you and the ball is going to change pretty dramatically when you're on one leg versus both feet on the ground. And you know, I'll show you that with Moo in a second. So I've got my normal stance. I drop that back. There we go. And then I'll scooch back in. So the cool thing about this now is notice how the weight, when I drop the other foot back, it's resting the weight of the leg is just resting on the inside portion of my big toe of that trail foot. And now when I swing back and through without stopping, notice how the weight stays on the inside of that lead leg, inside lead leg, inside lead leg. See that? And my trail leg is in a position where it's floating and it's not taking me out of balance. So if I take this leg and I put it too far back, well, now when I'm trying to swing, it's throwing me off balance. If it's too far forward, it's going to do the same thing. It's going to be in my way. So drop it back to a point where it feels like it's hanging from my hip joint. And then I'm just going to let it swing back and through without stopping. And you notice now I'm able to do this perpetual motion back and through, which is one of our staples. And it's very seamless. And what you're going to hear a lot of this year is frictionless momentum. The, the least friction you have in your swing, the further and straighter you're going to hit it. So you really want to make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you get going with this. Okay. So I'm going to hit a couple of seven irons here. My typical seven iron distance about 175 with this blade seven iron. I'm going to, Start this off a little right. This is fabulous for drawing the ball. See that? So because I'm behind the hit, look how pretty that was. Because I'm behind the hit, can you see that? Now it really makes it easy. It opens the door to come from the inside. And for those of you who get stuck on that trail side, and you're swaying off the ball, well, this is the best anti-sway system there is. So I'm getting out of the way, and notice now the ball position has to be just inside that lead leg. If I put it too far forward, I gotta go after it, I'm gonna have to take a walk. If it's too far back, I gotta reach back, and I'm gonna have to fall the other direction. So the right ball position will have you swinging. Look at where that low point is now. This is fantastic for getting ball first, then ground. So you're not swaying, you're hitting the ball first, you're getting beautiful draws because you're staying so centered. The radius of, the radius of your swing is super condensed and tight. It's like a washing machine in a perfect spin cycle. You get efficient speed. So you're going to be more powerful, more efficient. So this drill is extremely important for you to get under your belt. So let's have a look at Moo and how he does with the drill. At first, because you haven't done this drill in a while, right? Yeah. At first, when you were doing it today, go ahead and take your setup. 
with the ball and then get on one foot and you were trying to stay with the ball at that distance, right? Yeah. A lot of you are going to want to try and stay here, and then you're going to be teetering forward on that foot, and when you go into the backswing and you're forward on that foot, you're going to lose your balance. You'll feel the need to hit the ball quickly before you miss it. Right. So when you pull that foot back, it pulls you away from the ball, and then you'll have to scooch back in. Or you do your couple of practice swings, and then the one leg move scooch, Oh, look at that. That sounded really compressed. Yeah, came a little bit too far. It's out. What club is that? Seven iron. Okay. <laughs> that's the same. That's, that's, he's got the same clubs as Ricky Fowler uses, the King Tours, right? Yeah, that's right. So it's a nice forged club, slight cavity back. Slight, yeah. Not that strong, but just a hair stronger, yeah. right? Yeah. Fantastic. Let's see another one. Yeah. <clears throat> 204 carry on one leg and the club speed was 100 miles an hour on that seven iron on one leg. Look at that. That's just two takes right there. That's how efficient this guy is getting. I mean, look at that beauty. So <clears throat> carry on that one now was 207. And your speed now is 107, 107 miles an hour. Yeah. So you will get some fluctuations in speed depending on how steady you're able to stay on that one leg, right? That's right, yeah. But what a beautiful demonstration that is right there. So you got to see how really you watch this in slow motion and you see how his center of gravity is staying parked right there on the inside of that lead foot. You're going to feel it right here underneath the ankle at the back of the arch. That's right. And this leg is actually, it's actually providing ballast to that. So notice how that center of gravity is staying beautiful. And then he comes through impact here and he's beautifully braced against that lead leg. So because you're braced against the lead leg, you can't move forward into it. No. Right. And block it out. And you know what I mean? Yeah. Stay behind. I mean, look, you're 22 feet off the center line at 207 carry. That's accurate. All right. So let's see what Sav's got. So Sav is going to perform the driver segment for you. Oh. Aren't you looking good today? Thank you. All right. And so we've got the sucker teed up pretty good, Sav. Yes. Um, can I put a ball on a tee right there for you to show him face on what that looks like? When Sav gets ready and brings that foot back, notice that ball position has to be in a, in a way that you're gonna catch that on the way up. Yeah. So if you play that ball too far back in the stance over here, there's a pop fly. Yeah. And if you play it too far forward over here, you're gonna to have to go fetch it and take a walk. Yeah. All right, so the ball position for you, for that driver, and notice how she's shuffling to find it. Look at how gorgeous this tilt is. So if I push on the top of her head, that pressure is going straight into that right ankle here, that lead ankle. And that particular tilt is what's going to get, get her the launch to get that distance with the driver. Awesome. Starts off left, draws back to the right. That'll be right center of the fairway and one right out of the gate is 200 and look at that you and you tend to pepper the center of the face with this drill right yeah. so there's 100 miles an hour on one leg just to start things off oh wow look at that did you feel that balance kind of gel a little bit there yeah. so notice that that jumped up in your carry now we're 296 and that Club speed just jumped up to 104. Yeah. And wow, look at those numbers. 270 carry, 296 total. Your peak height's at 100 miles an hour. And that, there's that launch angle that demonstrates at 15 degrees, that demonstrates that you're catching the ball at the right place on the way up. Boy, did you say centered on that one. 
So you'll see face on when Sav is performing that task, look at her head behind that, uh, you'll see uh, uh, one of our cooling units back here in the room, and you'll see how her head never moves off of that thing, and the axis of rotation is always spot on. So when you're staying centered with the task of, you know, doing your thing, catching the tip of the T on the way up, if you need extra help with the driver, just type in driver Sean Clement, and we've got you know, dozens of videos with Sav Mu and I, with myself, on the technique with the driver, starting with one from back in 2006, end of 2006, beginning of 2007, called Great Driver Tip, Sean Clement. And go, go and look at me when I had a little less gray hair. I mean, it's, that's how long we've been on YouTube, yeah. right? And we've been, you know, espousing these techniques on YouTube to help your game. And that's one thing that you're really going to enjoy from our channel. It's super consistent. We haven't wavered one bit. It's the same message. You go back 10 years in our videos and you'll see the exact same information just delivered a little bit differently, right? Hope you guys really enjoyed that and uh, get, get yourself practicing with this. And if you're struggling with it and you still need a centering action, Make sure you subscribe because the next video, we're going to show you feet together. The three of us are just about to do a feet together with the driver video, and uh, you won't want to miss that. That should be good. Oh, yeah. There you go. All right, 336? Yeah, I'll get that. All right. Duh. Yeah.